Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh, Gregory Seamus Getty Images, by Josh Planos September 4 at 2.54 p.m. following a season-opening 24-17 loss to Notre Dame, the Michigan Wolverines rabid fan base wants blood. Former All-American wide receiver Braylon Edwards even added gasoline to the fire under coach Jim Harbaugh's seat. Harbaugh dissenters point to Michigan, having dropped 17 consecutive road contests against ranked opponents since 2006, and the coaches won six record against Michigan State, Notre Dame and Ohio State. Suspended Braylon Edwards apologizes for the tone of his Michigan tweets, but not their message however, for the increasing faction of fans and pundits clamoring that the program hasn't improved, to say nothing of those who call for his dismissal, or refer to him as the most overrated coach in the sport, it should be noted that Harbaugh has hardly been given the credit he deserves. He has turned around the win and just program in the sport's history. In 2015, Harbaugh's first season in Ann Arbor, the Wolverines blossomed from 5-7 the year before into a 10-win team, one that was 16. Three points per game better than the average college football team. In the two seasons, since they have won 10 and 8 games, respectively, and have been at least 13. Four points per game better than the average college football team in each season. Just 21 major college teams can claim to have won 70% of their respective games since 2015, and Michigan is among them. The Wolverines have per game point margins of plus 15.3 and yard margins of plus 115. Nine over that stretch, both top 10 marks nationally, which are far better predictors of future success than wins. Over the last three seasons, Michigan has been 15.8 points per game better than the average college football team. In terms of three-season average SRS, that's the program's top mark since the turn of the century. Another way to measure Harbaugh's tenure is his monumental impact on recruiting. Michigan ranked as low as 49th in recruiting before Harbaugh. Since, he has produced three consecutive classes in the top 25, including two in the top five. Those high-profile and highly criticized losses have largely come by narrow margins and terrible luck. 1. To Michigan State in 2015 was among the most improbable in the history of the sport. Another, the following year against Ohio State, was effectively decided by a controversial fourth and one conversion. Five of the team's last eight losses have been decided by one score or less, and the program is just 4-8 in one score games since Harbaugh, who has faced a top 25 overall schedule of the last three seasons, it should be noted, arrived in an arbor. Furthermore, the last 10 teams to beat Michigan under Harbaugh have finished the season ranked in the top 17 of the AP poll. The key problem, ironic given Harbaugh's prowess and background, is on offense. Only two Division I teams rank lower in win probability added on offense since 2015, according to data provided by True Media. Much of that can be traced to quarterback play. Over the last three seasons, the Wolverines have ranked 48th in adjusted quarterback rating, which takes into account strength of opposing defenses in the given season, 85th in quarterback points above average, which measures how many points a quarterback's performance is above or below an average quarterback's in a respective season, and 98th in quarterback points above replacement, which measures how many points a quarterback's performance is worth compared to replacement level in a given season, according